Raven, ancestor of the Seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. hides the path to Balravan. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth. again and pretend what we saw was never really there. into the relentless darkness. All that lurks within it can see you too. Valraven 
Raven's power of illusion comes from ravens, allowing the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Look how much has changed. who make it back are forever changed.
we picture fear and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. She can't, she can't go in there. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. She went to the wilds a long time ago. 
She wanted to fight her own darkness. <laughs> she thought she could beat her own Did she beat the darkness? No. <laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Dreams. Dreams helped her. She can't beat her own darkness. The gate is open. She wanted to marry Dillian. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. But she thought that doesn't She thought her curse would affect him. Yet. She thought her curse would spread to him. Oh no, at her. But I think she could bring the darkness to him too. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Druth helped her. Will she find Dillian before her time comes? Ravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findan. The Northmen captured Findan's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, but his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findan made his escape. What was Findan? Burnt away that day. But from the flames, a new man stepped forward. And Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times.
gate is open. Wait, open. It's darkness. I know it from the wild. It's coming back for me. I'm still here. Are you too? I remember. It didn't end well in the wilds. It never does. You think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom. Drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging What's you down happening? so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. Help me. But there, Help. in the darkness, Senua. and she remembered what he told her. Hear me, reach out to me, Senua. Take my iron mirror, look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to, you will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus! 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 to the wilds! You trapped me there!
never beat you in the wilds, did I? It was an illusion. But not this time! The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory, bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wild, in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds. She would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would and she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. Anyway, you have the sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galena. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. 
Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Over the river of knives to Helheim. 